Howdy. Um, Tommy, she's actually one of my wife's favorite uh, singers, artists, and she introduced him to me a while ago, um, maybe in COVID or something. Um, she is very into this tiny desk. I never sat down with a guitar, really checking it out, but she played it sometimes, so it's been a minute, but I kind of want to sit down together listening and understanding what's happening there. So let's check it out. Boom. Start. So it's kind of like, basically we're at the key of G, we start from the 3 um, to the 2, 5, 1. I just actually made it like a, a recently a video, kind of a lo-fi video, which is going in also in G, going from the 3 to the 1, you can check it out if you're interested. But basically it's kind of doing similar vibes, so it's like the 3 to the 2, basically 2, 5 to the 1, and then this kind of like F7 uh, seven sus to F7, I think, F sharp 7, leading us back to B minor. So um, you can hear it in kind of two ways. You can decide that you're hearing it from the point of view of B minor, then you say you're in B minor, and it's like a 2-5 to the flat 6, and doing this kind of like 5 off B minor and, and back home. Uh, the reason that it's a, a very kind of common, and you probably know this progression as well, is because of the song Sunny. Um, uh, which is, uh, I think, originally in A minor, so... Right? Oh, I actually read about it um, this week, just about Sunny, that um, that song uh, has the same progression as this, that's why I'm mentioning it. Um, and he wrote it for his brother that died. Um, it was killed actually, it was shot. It's a really sad story, but beautiful song. Um, and the harmonic progression there is exactly the same actually. It's basically the, the first A section of Sunny, just in a different key, a whole step up. Uh, and again, they're doing this kind of sus thing there. But let's listen, it's, it's really great. I'm not saying it's a, it's a theft, I'm just saying like, oh, there are Where points of reference. I go, can't explain, I'll never know, but it's beautiful. This away from me. Oh, it's like boy, I hear the this groove is always dangerous for me. It, it feels great, but it feels always dangerous to. It could go to a cheesy place, but this is still cool. And his voice is so good. I love the way it sings. Yeah, and the transitions are so good. Uh, notice how the bass and drums lock so beautifully and how they change the dynamic uh, range between the sections. This is, of course, this is a really, really cool and really great band. Um, yeah, it's nice to listen and pay attention to these little things because they make our experience better. And also then when uh, we write music or create, we can use that idea of dynamics and, and expressing um, more, um, I guess, emotion using these ideas. The joy that it brings. Let's listen more. Remember skating down the road towards the park. I can never say no. You with that summer glow. The music gives me sun when winter starts. She told me at the baseline, and everything will be alright. Baseline. She told me that the groove is so mine. cool. And it will take us like this, like tonight. little Brazilian vibe. It's really cool. A sealed pocket. Can't explain, I'll never know. But it's beautiful. Can't take this away from me. Uh. Oh, the way I hear the melody. I like that. 
sorry I'll pause it. I really like that he's not doing too much embellishment. Uh, he's kind of like singing it straight, you know, he's just singing the lyrics, singing the melody. Um, again, there are a lot of ways to do it and could be very beautiful to do all these crazy runs, but it's kind of refreshing in a way to be like, ah, oh, this is the melody, is singing it and kind of saying it how it is. It's really cool, I appreciate that. Green clarity, mm. and it's running through me. Uh, 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 you can't take this away from me. Oh, the way I hit the melody, cause the waves bring clarity, and it's running through me. It's running through me. You can't take this away from me. Oh, the way I hit the melody, the waves bring clarity, and it's running through me. Uh, uh, you can't take this away from me. So if you want to kind of mess around, you can just kind of be in B minor pentatonic. That was a little shaky. So you can solo around B minor pentatonic is gonna be sounding pretty good. Uh, yeah, right? Uh, that's what it's kinda doing right now. Ah, okay. Like does this run? I, they don't have it exactly, but it's cool. It's like you can find these things with guitar as well. It's like kind of like idiomatic to the instrument. It's like that it's not too hard to play. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find something, but but like you can figure it out. And and if you're into it, it's kind of cool. This is exactly what he's doing. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Take this away from me. Drops. Oh, the way I hear the melody. The waves bring clarity. Mm. And it's running through me. Uh, uh, uh. You can't take this away B from minor. me. Oh, the way I hear the Two melody. Five. The D. The waves bring clarity. And it's running through me. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Sick. That's really cool. I'm going to fast forward the conversation and see when they start playing another song. Ah. Um, it's like the two, the F sharp minor with the nine, 
um, and then kind of playing like the E major and you know if you just do that a little bit between this voicing F sharp minor with 9 and this is the one this is E so you can go here or here I just did that and then back to this F sharp minor and, and back to this to the E I think there was one second like you played like one second of like a, a C sharp minor um, for a second then going back it's kind of like all colors around this like E uh, center for me right now I'm trying to figure it out still who I could have been I was stuck in my mind stuck in my mind I was stuck in my mind when you go you go you go I'm a son the sky whoa well, it's cool because we can also see his guitar playing. He's like, but he literally plays this like, uh, um, basically A flat, uh, seven flat five, like flat thirteen, going to this like um, C sharp minor, and then I think he played like something like ah. Let's hear it again. It's cool. Stuck in my mind. I was stuck in my mind. I guess this is one of the differences I'm just kind of like listening and kind of figuring out um, so yeah it's not I don't know the song you know I don't know know the song I don't know know the melody you know even if I listen I can kind of hear the chord and stuff in order for me to actually know the song I, I think I need to know the structure I need to know the lyrics and I need to really like be like you know whatever section like know exactly what's happening there where it's going and how it sounds so it feels comfortable not kind of like catching on to what they're doing which is fun again it's a great exercise and it's really fun and we can learn a lot because we can kind of like quickly analyze what's happening musically and we learn that process but also it's important to actually learn the songs right like like the song before so we're like okay i'm oh, sorry we were in uh, in g so the song before three like two five like really saying like okay this is the progression now let's see if we can solo maybe solo with them learn the melody all these kind of things this is um, the real kind of deal you know like so this is um, it's a really good practice but you can go deeper especially if you like a song okay we love that day when ah. you were mine when you were mine still stuck in my mind Ah. Space with me still All of the time All of the time Still stuck in my mind Like how it's building the energy When you go Same, you okay go, You go I'm a sun probably use E major pentatonic I suppose That's a cool 
Ooh, pedal. I want this pedal. Right, so think about this, this kind of C minor pentatonic slash, you know, if you, if you leave around there, you're good. It's nice to see the interaction as well. Let's hear it so I'm, I'm sure about the chords there. That the fire we both made still burns a little in you. Mm -hmm. I wrote to you. Uh -huh. F Sorry, okay. Let's see. So it's kind of like G major 7 or something. And then I'm kind of hearing this. F sharp minor, and one time I did hear like a, a D major first inversion, and then F major seven and E minor. This is like the four chords I'm hearing. Let's check it out a little bit. Day, did my letters find their way? My memories on my screen. It's gonna be fun to solve this. Two in this mystic dream. Baby, come back to me. Come back to me. E minor pentatonic is gonna work pretty much on this stuff. Baby, do you still sleep alone? Come back to me. Come back to me. Remember me. Fresh out of black and white. F major. Ah. Cool, 
there, there are a few little changes that they're doing, not nothing too, too crazy. Um, and maybe there are more sections I don't really remember, but yeah, it's really cool. I really like this progression that, that he, they play like this kind of like G major, F sharp minor, or you can do the D major first inversion to the F M major seven and then this E sus. It's really cool. It's a great loop actually to kind of practice because you can, from one perspective, you can kind of be general and, and, and solo over this uh, E minor pentatonic and all that kind of vibe, but you can also be more specific to the chords and you know, articulate D major or, or F. So, yeah, thanks so much for uh, hanging out. I'm hoping this is interesting and this is, again, something I haven't really done, just kind of exploring that uh, avenue of, of listening to stuff and responding and, you know, making some mistakes, but in general, it's kind of fun. So thanks again and uh, drop a comment. Let me know if this is interesting and fun for you and uh, fun for you. And I'll see you soon. Peace.